Let us talk about another unfortunate neighbor of Russia that is systematically threatened by the Kremlin, my native Latvia. Latvia boosts military as Russian threat looms on the horizon. Appropriate response will follow Putin threatens Latvia. Latvians told to turn basements into bomb shelters amid fears Russia could target Baltic states next. Soviet Moscow considers all the Baltic states to be its potential colonies. Putin and his inner circle have been threatening Latvia for more than 20 years because of what they call oppression of Russian-speaking population. Population. I just love it. Not people, not nation, population. Russophobes or Russophiles. The Kremlin's morbid desire to find Russophobes anywhere in this case is even stronger than usual. Previously, Moscow fueled separatist sentiments in the country through the so-called Moscow House in Riga. Moscow House. Until January this year. The Moscow House is a tool of Russia's foreign policy, by means of which it spreads propaganda and pro-Kremlin interpretations of reality to justify its aggressive actions from the statement of the Parliament of Latvia. The Russian embassy has already stated, I quote, that this act, unprecedented in its hostility, will not go unanswered and will have the most serious consequences for its initiators. Sounds like Cold War, doesn't it? Let me remind you that Russia has already used, or better said, abused the so-called oppression of Russian speakers as a reason for invading another country. Yes, I'm talking about Ukraine. Kremlin propaganda has been threatening Kyiv for years for this far-fetched reason. The Russians have abused this as a reason for friendly assistance to Donbass since 2014. In case of a Russian invasion of Latvia, what are the military forces balance? Latvia has 17,000 contracted soldiers and officers. Of course, if mobilized as announced, 38,000 reservists will join. Latvia has no tanks and the arsenal, of course. So they have more than 230 armored reconnaissance vehicle and armored personnel carriers, 59 self-propelled artillery units. Russia has the elite 76th Pskov Airborne Assault Division, located right on the border with Latvia and Estonia. This unit suffered losses during the war in Ukraine, obviously, but given the speed of recruitment to the Russian terrorist army, let's call spade a spade, this can be easily replenished. Investigations by Reuters and Ukrainian prosecutor's office confirmed that participation of exactly this unit in war crimes, the execution of civilians in Bucha, and the execution of Ukrainian prisoners of war in the south of Ukraine. About 14,000 people serve in this unit. It has up to 60 tanks, 600 infantry fighting vehicles, almost 200 APCs. In the event of active hostilities, they will be supported by Russian artillery. We are talking here about several hundred guns, including missile artillery. Based on the experience of the war in Ukraine, Russia will definitely use the pro-Russian part of the country's population. At least the Kremlin says that this is almost a quarter of the said country's population. Some of these people can be openly called Russian agents. But armed confrontation to destabilize the situation cannot be ruled out. Thus, pro-Russian rebels could start unrest in the capital, Riga as well as in the cities with the largest share of Russian militant population, Daugopils and Vileni. There are no small roads between Latvia and Russia, by the way. So these countries are connected by just three routes, the defense of which can, or better said, must be focused on. The most obvious assault way through is M77 Highway, which runs directly through Pskov, where the 76th Air Assault Division is located. So this road leads directly to the capital of Latvia, Riga. Also, we should expect simultaneous attacks from two other routes to the south that converge near the city of Rezekne. In addition, it is also very likely that Belarusian Expeditionary Force will be involved in the attack on Dogobils. The Latvian authorities, of course, are aware of the threat of Russia. According to the country's defense minister, it would be a mistake to believe that Russia has been out of power and is somehow weakened because of the war in Ukraine. Despite the usual threats to the security of our region, we must also be prepared for the fact that Russia will continue to use its wide arsenal of hybrid and nuclear threats to intimidate and weaken the support of Ukraine from the West. Inara Munietze, Minister for Defense of Latvia in 2022-2023. 
So more and more resources are being allocated to strengthening the eastern border. Thus, almost a third of a billion euros will be spent on fortification in the coming years. The country is also improving its national guard. The skies over the country are protected by German military aircraft. The country is also planning return to compulsory military service. Well, thank you so very military much. Hope you stay tuned for more. Thanks so much. Bye.